the background. There you see the paddle boats. It's a great summer evening in Southern California. Oscar statue outside Staples Center. And tonight at the Velasco Theater, Alexis Rocha, 19 years old from Santa Ana. Ivan Delgado, South Central Los Angeles. And from the Ukraine, Slava Shabransky. That's next on Ring TV Live. The downtown LA skyline, and they keep on building. That's the home for Golden Boy Promotions, founded by Hall of Famer Oscar De La Hoya. That's where we are tonight for another edition of the LA Fight Club, the Belasco Theater. We are inside, and it is sold out. It is hot. The crowd is fired up. You've already seen two knockouts, and we have more fights coming your way. Alongside Holly Lawson and Doug Fisher, I'm Bethel Duran. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Ring TV Live. The Velasco Theater has become a home away from home for Golden Boy Promotions. We're seeing the young stars make a name for themselves and graduate to that pay-per-view level. Jojo D is a name that comes from mind. He's fighting in September in Dallas, Texas. But our main event tonight, Slava Shabransky from the U Ukraine, now living in Los Angeles. And this is a fighter, Doug, who puts on a show. He's undefeated. Yeah, and he's showed people what he can do, beginning with last year, where he went from being nobody to a prospect to a legitimate top 10 contender. And here he's showing us some of the underrated aspects of his game against uh, a veteran gatekeeper named Derek Findlay. This was his last fight just a couple of months ago. We're seeing the jab, we're seeing the skill, the technique, but his bread and butter is his punching power. He can punch with both hands, and he got rid of Finley with his body attack. Chabransky ranked in the light heavyweight division. That's our main event. He takes on a Mexican fighter in Rioja. So Chabransky is a fighter where Doug in that division, you kind of say, oh, maybe we don't want to fight him. And Holly, though, our co-feature, Ivan Delgado, 9-0 from Southern California, takes on a gatekeeper, the kind of fighters you need to get better. Right. Delgado's definitely a local favorite. He's a come forward fighter, pretty aggressive. Um, really good fundamentals. It'll be interesting to see what he does with, you know, with the gatekeeper, moving up to the next level. I'm very, actually very excited to see that. He definitely lives up to his nickname of Striker. Striker, 9-0, Doug, Alejandro Rocha, 7-11-2. They know each other from the Southern California gym scene, especially o Ochoa. Yeah, Ochoa is a guy, don't be fooled by that 7-11 record. He is very dangerous. We call him a gatekeeper because sometimes you put him in there with an undefeated prospect and he beats him. He upsets the apple cart. Last time we saw him here at the Belasco Theater, however, he was knocked out in one round. The first time he'd ever been stopped as a professional, that was by Chimpa Gonzalez. Chimpa Gonzalez showed the world that night that he's a real prospect. That's what Ivan Delgado wants to do tonight. And coming up first, a fighter quickly making a name for himself in Southern California. The younger brother of Ronnie Rios, Alexis Rocha from Santa Ana, undefeated. And as Roberto Diaz, a matchmaker for Golden Boy, says, I think we can give the nickname Mr. Knockout. This kid packs a punch. He sat down with our Ring to Be Love cameras. This specific fight this is my first six round fight, so I focus a lot more on the rounds, focusing more on conditioning, uh, staying my pace because it's more, more, it's two more rounds. Coming back to the Bosco Theater is very exciting because a lot of I bring a lot of good fan base back there. It's a really small, compact area, so as soon as I get up in the ring, I just hear my name, everyone chanting my name. I just work in the body mainly, working the body, slowing them down. So as soon as round one begins, working the body to slow them down for the later rounds.
There you see him making his way into the ring of TKO Boxing. Where does he work out of? In Santa Ana, or as the locals call it down there, Santana. They bring in one word. So if you're that area, you know it's Santana. Yes, I know you're going to correct me over and over on Twitter. <laughs> but it's Santa Ana on paper. Regardless, though, so 19 year old Alexis Rocha, 3 and 0, 2 KOs. And he's in his first six rounder in the super welterweight division. Betha Duran, Doug Fisher, Holly Lawson from the Belasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles. Our ring announcer, Joe Martinez, is bouncing around, just waiting for that cue, ready to go. And this crowd, who's already seen two knockouts earlier tonight, is fired up. There you see the younger brother of Ronnie Rios. He's a lot of fun to watch. He's an aggressive southpaw boxer puncher, kind of kid who keeps his composure, but he goes after his opponent when he has them in trouble, and that's the kind of fighter these fans love to see. That's the kind of fighter we all love to see, really. Most of us. Yeah. <laughs> Some folks are pacifists out there. <laughs> Here's highlights from his fight in Las Vegas on the eve of Canelo's fight when we opened up the T-Mobile Arena. And here's Joe Martinez. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Six rounds of boxing this in the Super Welterweight Division. Los tres veces por el combate, the three judges scoring this battle at ringside, Raul Caiz, Jerry Cantu, and Zach Young. When the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action in Cargado de Ring, el referee, Raul Caiz Jr. Presentado primero en la esquina azul, con los pantalones cios, negro, con rojo y blanco, y un peso de 143 libras y tres cuarto. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black trunks trimmed in red and white, he weighed it officially 143 and three quarter pounds. Con un record de cuatro victorias, dos derrotas y un ganado por knockout. His professional record, four victories, two defeats. One win coming by way of knockout, de Cancun, Cantana Roo, Mexico. He's opening the Esquina Roja, con los patroncillos azul, con México y los Estados Unidos. Y un peso de 148 libras y un cuarto. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wears blue, trimmed to the flag of México and the USA. He weighed officially 148 and one quarter pounds. He tiene un record perfecto con tres victorias. Zero derrotas y dos ganadas por knockout. He stands perfect with three victories. No defeats and two wins coming by way of knockout. De Santana, California, presentado el invito. Alexis Rocha. Fighter Chief, second only. I'll peace. Protector. All right, gentlemen, you received the instructions in the dressing room. Know what I expect? A good, clean fight. Caballeros, ya recibieron las acciones, que una pelea limpia. Legal punches, here for you, here for you. Tusk gloves, luck to both of you. Buenas tardes los dos. Third man in the ring, Raul Caiz Jr. in his 19th year as a referee. Doug, here's the tail of the tape. Yeah, everything favors the teenager, Rocha. He is 17 years younger at age 19. He is four inches taller, and he has a significant reach advantage. Six rounds coming your way in the super welterweight division. Rocha weighed in at 148. Riela, taking this fight on short notice, 143. Alexis Rocha, 19 years old. He's the southpaw. He's got the blue trunks. Mexico on the back of his trunks. That's where his parents are from. Body shot right away. He comes with that pow power, Holly. I know you said ooh right ooh, away. Boom. Yeah, the, yeah. Get ready to that, say some more oohs. That lift of the body was pretty nice. He's doing a really good job of keeping his range, though, establishing his like his range. All of his punches carry lots of power. Obviously. Look at that. He's that one right these, to the body is pretty brutal. He's one look of these guys. So though, that he can, wow. Yeah, yes. he can load up with every punch, but not burn himself out. He stays relaxed and composed, even though he's delivering with maximum leverage. He has a pretty wide stance. I don't know if you noticed that. Which yeah. Oh, oh and down goes Viela. A big left. Holly, you said ooh. How about <laughs> ow? Dropping Viela here in the first round. Alexis, they call him a TKO boxing with the big shot here. 
Oh, and Biela oh, has man. no legs underneath him. The 36-year-old is in dangerous territory right now as Alexis Rocha is looking to finish it here in the first round, loading up on his shots. His trainer said they're gonna come out and try to finish it early, and that's what they're trying to do right now. Body work from Rocha, upstairs. Tags him with the right, a left, in the corner, and it is over. Alexis Rocha, a first round stoppage. He is now 4-0 with three KOs. I think that was a good stoppage from Raul Caiz Jr. Absolutely. It was obvious from the very start that Vieja was just totally outgunned. Completely. Also, he was dwarfed. By, by Rocha. So Rocha much. just Huge. so much bigger, Towering over him. so Good much stronger, inches. and he he's, was the superior technician in there. Yeah, 100%. 118 of the first round, 19-year-old Alexis Rocha. He sold a lot of tickets. That's what you do with the Belasco. If you're a young fighter, you sell tickets, you get a cut, make some extra money. And then well, hopefully his fans got in here on time. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, you provide a performance like that, they're going to keep coming back. Santana, stand up. Seekerstrom High School Jaguar. That's where he went to school. And this is a kid, Holly, who at one point when he was 14 years old, weighed over 200 pounds. Wow. He started boxing to lose weight. Now he's a pro and he's 3-0. See this knockdown? It was just a perfectly timed straight left, right down right the middle, the right on the button. Look at was, that. Yeah, and it was pretty Perfect. short, too. Really? It wasn't from long range. And here's the follow-up. He's got him against the ropes. Getting under punches, partially blocking punches. And you know, Really nice inside yeah, punch Yeah, you there. see that short yeah, that right hook? Yeah, really short right hook. Pais didn't wait too much longer. Didn't need to see the poor old man hit the deck again. That no. would have been, that just would have been too much. Needless, that's needless no. punishment Absolutely. at that stage. Good performance from Russia, though. He did what he was supposed to do. Uh, he's supposed to give us time to breathe here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, mixing a jab or two, bro. But no, that's exactly what you want. It, 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 this is what you're supposed to do, right, Doug? When you come out and you're young, take on a veteran, why mess around? Get after it. I know yeah. your trainer wants you to get round, but you want to finish uh, this. Rounds, right. rounds are definitely important, but when you're just a teenager and it's only your fourth pro fight, and they're not putting you in with the gatekeepers just yet. He's, he's, he's the opening bout of right. the tel this televised broadcast. He's not the co-feature yet. He's no. far away from the main event. This is about just getting used to being a professional and get in, get out, come back next month. Absolutely, be comfortable in the lights, in front of the people, get out there, do exactly what you're supposed to do. I thought he actually showed a lot of patience. Like, he definitely kept his range the whole time. He wasn't jumping on top of the opponent. He did a really good job with that. His inside game was really nice. Actually, I'm quite impressed with the, the punches he was throwing on the inside. You make a good point. He doesn't smother his punches. He, he knows when he to He was let aggressive. Him go. Well, how are you going to smother when you only throw one big one and knock him down? <laughs> <laughs> you can't smother the second one. It didn't come through. There you see Alexis Rocha shaking hands with his promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, who's here in attendance tonight, the founder and chairman of Golden Boy Promotions. Holly, how about our main event making his way to the Belasco? Out of the Ukraine, Slava Shabransky. Slava and I have actually fought on the same car before. Oh, we have fought, you? Um, I think his first fight in LA, I believe, we fought on the same card. Uh, I was the main event. <laughs> um, his wife was pregnant with their first child, so I think that they had a daughter, right? Yeah, so they his, have a wife daughter. Was his wife was heavily pregnant with their first daughter, and I just remember her being in the back and she was pregnant, and I was so nervous for her because she was so anxious for him. You know, obviously she gets anxious with all of his fights, but she was she's pretty... That's coming up later on. Here's Joe Martinez. The end comes officially 118, round number one. Your winner by KO victory, se mantiene invicto the Puro Santana, California, Alexis Rocha! There it is, Alexis Rocha. Alexis, they call him a TKO boxing. His dad's from Mexico City, his mom from Zacatecas. And he's 4-0 with three stoppages for the 19-year-old. But yeah, he was 200 pounds, Holly, over 200 pounds. His brother Ronnie, who established fighter himself, was like, no, don't fight, don't fight. But if you want to come run with us, right. lose some weight. And he was also 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, wow. Yeah, and we'll come back with a chiseled <laughs> Alexis Rocha, who's now 147, next on Ring TV Live.
16 years has been um, amazing. We've raised millions and millions of dollars uh, for the foundation. It all goes back to um, to the White Memorial Hospital. It goes back to the uh, Oscar Delia High School. We do giveaways um, um, to families in East LA. Um, we scholarships. Uh, it's just been great. This is, uh, you know, these charities are for a bunch of great causes like, you know, cancer research. And also schools in East L.A., which I, I'm from Chicago. I grew up in the not so great part of Chicago, or not, you know, low income or whatever. And I, hopefully one day I can do the same. Y Oscar de la Hoya pues tiene ese, esa gran luz de poder ayudar a nuestra gente. Y tenemos que unirnos para poder unir fuerzas y ayudar a mucho más gente cada día más. Well, you know, obviously Oscar's a friend, you know, and, and, and his foundation is doing a lot of good stuff, so whatever we can do to show up and stir it up a little bit, we, we do. Yo creo que es algo positivo, algo bonito que está haciendo, ¿no?, para, para ayudar y, y aquí estamos, ¿no?, a, ayudando en lo, en lo que podamos. Oh, and we love our social media here. I'm a snapping, tweeting, Instagramming boo here. <laughs> Maybe not the new Instagram snap, but I'm using it all. Use that hashtag, Green TV Live, just like Mr. Boxing Guru has done. And he said, how pretty are those gloves Baby Ronnie was wearing? Mr. Guru, he is not Baby Ronnie. That is Alexis Rocha, and he's coming your way. This kid has a big punch. And use Ring TV Live hashtag. Ask us questions. Send us your comments. Let us know where you're watching from. And we will make sure to get you that shout out tonight. And we do appreciate it. Everybody watching us all over the country. Hasta los que están mirando en Zacatecas, México, donde está la familia de Alexis Rocha. Also to Guadalajara, México is watching us, Holly. And I know tonight we are in Canada. Yes, you hometown. Holla. We're in British Columbia. <laughs> I'm from BC. All right. So Proudly. Toronto, you guys are my favorites. What? F-A-V-O-U-R-I-T-E. Uh, Beto thinks he's because funny. I haven't, been to, I haven't been to Vancouver. You need to go to Vancouver. Let's go. Let's go to Whistler. Let's go. Take Vancouver me. is amazing. I want to go. It's so beautiful. I, hear, yeah, I want to go from Mardi Gras to Whistler. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Listen, this is the life. Beth I'm going to hang with Beto. <laughs> Whatever he does, I want to do what he does. Life. Living the dream. <laughs> Apparently. Exactly. <laughs> and Holly's first time you're with us tonight, though. What is the vibe inside here? Let you people know, know. It's really energetic. There's a ton of people here. It's really crowded. It's really dope to see people come out for local fighters. Like, I know as a fighter, when you have your friends and your family there, there's a different energy. It's a different energy than just a bunch of strangers, you know? Because people are emotionally attached to you. You kind of feel that vibe in the space. It's pretty cool, actually. I hear it's a club. So if you ever been to the Mayan back in the <laughs> 80s and 90s, you know you know what you were doing. At the Mayan, next door to the Belasco, and they put the ring on the dance floor. And thanks to everybody watching us all over Southern California in Huntington Beach, the Altamirano family, appreciate you guys. And Ronnie Rios, younger brother, Alexis Rocha, is going to be making his way towards us in a few moments. He went to Seagrestrom High School. He was actually taught by Mrs. A, Altamirano. So he's coming your way. Let's see if those English classes paid off when you do the interview with him because you're a great journalism teacher. Also, a Jose Vitela que nos está mirando desde Los Angeles de Montebello y también la familia que tiene en Durango. Aquí están mirando las peleas. We have two more to go and that's going to be Alejandro Ochoa as he takes on Ivan Delgado in the main event. Slava Shebransky who trains at the Rock Gym in Carson against Oscar Riojas is in Monterrey, Mexico. And is you know, I mean, you know, I don't blame him. He just knocked somebody out. Take as many pictures as you want. Yeah, and I was going to ask Holly, what is it like when you score a knockout in that kind of fashion? Best I mean, feeling you just in with the a, world. Emotion? Nothing better than that. I can't say any more than that because it would get maybe a little lewd, but it's the best feeling in the oh, world. We've had fighters do that. <laughs> Holly, we love you, but uh, Lex Rocha has a big punch, and I'm not trying to scare him right now. Get over here, Lex. Oh, you're going to say hi to people back there, but not us first? <laughs> Oh, okay. You got to make friends on press row. That's yeah. smart. You're a oh, smart kid. I, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Damian that's, Calhoun right there. That's networking. That's, that's the, the man OC, right there. OC register. OC register. OC Take register. care of the home paper first. He's the OG in OC. Yeah. <laughs>
Damien and actually went to El Camino College together. Alexis Rocha, first round knockout. Was that the plan to come out that aggressive? Uh, the plans always come out aggressive. You know, I don't want to give these guys uh, any respect in there. I don't want them giving the their idea of like, oh, he's 19, he's not that strong or anything. I don't want I don't want them to gain that respect. So I always gotta come out aggressive. You don't want to give them confidence. I don't want to give them any confidence. When you look at a guy, he's older, he's smaller. Um, you guys had the same number of pro fights yeah. under your belt. And yes. Obviously, you had the better technique in there. Mm -hmm. Do you just want to get them out of there? I mean, is it like uh, why why carry them? No, no, it's not necessarily because I don't want to go in there and looking for a knockout. That where that's where you leave to the downfall. Right. So I want to go in there smart, break them down. You know, land those heavy shots, and if those shots hurt them, then why not put them out? Well, you landed those heavy shots. Here's the highlights from the first round. I, think, I believe we had the first KO coming your way. You look good right there when you're posing that green screen, by the way. There you see Lex Broach. What do you see right now? Uh, just coming out, working the body like I always do. Uh, yeah, this guy, like, I, I, I felt him, like, I felt him, I, not, I thought he was going to come right at me, knowing that, expecting that I'm a 19-year-old a kid. I expect him to come bull rushing me, so that's what I expected. Me and my corner expected that. But he know he was really relaxed in there, so I just wanted to put the pressure. I'm loving how you're operating. You're controlling the distance. Yeah. You don't smother any of your punches. Try you don't let to. your punches go before the, your opponent's in range. Yeah. This wasn't a lot of time to work on anything in specific, but was there anything from your third pro fight that you wanted to improve going yeah. into the fourth fight? Yeah, my third, my, third, my third pro fight, I went in there trying to knock this guy out because I know I'm strong. I know I have heavy hands, but what, what good does that do if you only throw one punch you know, at a time? So this fight, I wanted to come out and throw my combination, start off with the jab, being relaxed. I think I was too tense for my third fight. And uh, I didn't get the knockout like I did. I hurt the guy. I didn't drop him, but I hurt him. But this fight, I wanted to be more relaxed and more calm to get that knockout. I told you yesterday, Golden Boy Mashmaker Roberto Diaz was kicking around the nickname Mr. Knockout. Mr. Knockout. Dude. Come on now. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty impressive title, but I don't think I've earned it just yet with four fights and three KOs. I think i got to work my way up there. There's that camera. Say what's up to Santana or Santa Ana. Which one is it? Uh, both. Santana, <laughs> San, Santa Ana. And Seagerstrom High School. Did your teacher teach you something down there? All my teachers. Mr. Tagaloa. Ultimate uh, Rano, don't forget Mr. her. Mr. Mr. Ultimate Morano. <laughs> mm. There you go. Alexis Rocha. Lex out of TKO Boxing 4-0. Now has three KOs on his record. Congratulations Thank to the 19-year-old. You. You're gonna see him a couple more times this year here on Ring TV Live. Coming up next, Ivan Delgado. But before that, he sat down with our Ring TV Live cameras.